electrodiagnostic testing is performed for any patients who have pain, numbness, tingling, or weakness in an extremity, in the arm or legs. It's actually comprised of two tests, and one is called a nerve conduction study, and that involves putting electrodes on over top of the nerves and then stimulating the nerves with electricity up the arm and then recording the response underneath the electrodes. The second part of the test is the EMG or electromyogram and that involves using a very small needle electrode into muscles and measuring the electrical activity during rest but also during activation of those muscles. All of the information from those tests is then put together to determine if any nerve damage is present. If nerve damage is present, most importantly, where is it coming from? The test gives us information about the health of the nerves and the health of the muscles. It can determine if numbness or tingling in a patient's hand is coming from a pinched nerve in the neck, a pinched nerve in the shoulder, or what is called the brachial plexus. It also looks at a variety of pinched nerve syndromes in the arm. The test also looks at nerve diseases, what is called neuropathy or peripheral neuropathy or polyneuropathy. It also looks at muscle diseases, what is called myopathy. And it looks at neuromuscular diseases, things like ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. The test has a reputation for being uncomfortable but with today's technology, that doesn't need to be the case. The electrical stimulations are a little bit stronger than static electricity, and the needle electrodes that we use for the EMG portion are the size of an acupuncture needle. It's also important to have the test performed by a properly trained physician. You can look for board certification of the physicians or laboratory accreditation. One of the advantages of the test is that it looks at multiple body parts in one study. When we perform an MRI, we're only performing that on the area that is studied. This test allows us to look at multiple sites within an arm or leg or within the spine to determine where their symptoms are coming from. Most of our patients are referred either by their primary care physician or one of the orthopedic surgeons for persistent pain, or numbness and tingling, or for weakness, either in an extremity or the face, or more generalized symptoms where it's occurring all over the body.